Hello, my name is fans, and welcome to you live to the post-game show after the Leafs lost 4-3 in overtime to the Boston Bruins. The next game is on Prime TV versus the Winnipeg Jets on Monday. I have those highlights for you on, on Monday night. Enjoy the post-game. <clears throat> Just give me a minute. Ladies, you're successful in your career, but are you starting to worry that your drinking is getting out of hand? Are you worried about your family life? Morgan, how did you assess the, the performance tonight? Yeah, I thought it was a, a good game. Um, obviously, there's always going to be little mistakes you'd like to clean up. Uh, I think the power play still is looking to improve, and but ultimately, I thought you know it was back and forth and a uh, you know, good hockey game. How do you explain the slow start in the first period? Oh, well, they came out hard. I mean, we were prepared. Uh, Obviously, we just got to execute a little bit better. I thought our goalie did a great job of keeping us in. Um, you know, after one, uh, I think it was tied, right? Yeah, so I think we're in a decent spot there. Um, um, you know, it's not always going to be a perfect start, but again, I thought we did a good job of hanging on and um, you know, leaving the period with the tie. The biggest issue when it comes to entries on the power play? Uh, I think just execution. I think. In the grand scheme of things, um, you know, when you look at the game and it might not be going your way, uh, I think it all comes down to, you know, execution and then it goes out from there, you know, whether it's uh, work ethic or preparation or whatever, but I think it just starts with uh, with execution, that's all. Given the way the, the other two games went, do you take the positive for being able to battle back and coming out of here with a point? Yeah, I think there's more positives in a game like tonight than there has been the last two. Um, so you take that and... We'll have practice tomorrow, and we'll look to build and you know try to get our game going in the right direction. Uh, when it comes to like some of the little mistakes that are coming, you guys are like picking up a new system here, kind of getting used to things under Craig. How much of that is is that? Where do you feel like you guys are at in that process? Um, I think it's going to be a um, ongoing thing for us. I don't think it's an issue right now. I think you know as the year goes on, things are going to change, uh, lines are going to change, certain systems are going to change. It's just a matter of being able to adapt. That's all. What do you like about playing with OEL? Uh, it's, it's good. I mean, he's a great player. Um, you know, I've watched him for a long time, and he, uh, you know, he makes a lot of great plays um, with his hands and his feet and his brain. And um, you know, he's got uh, he's got a great skill set and you know the experience and you know all that to go along with it. What did that setup of by Mitch on your goal look like? And just in general, what did you think of the way he was dishing the puck tonight? Yeah, obviously, just an exceptional player. Um, uh, you know, he was in on all our goals and you know made a great play to us and on the, our third. And obviously, to me, he just has great vision. And um, you know, when you play with him long enough, um, you know, you're able to kind of predict what he's thinking. And he's obviously a great player. What can the group take a take away from this game? I mean, coming back in the last minute there. I mean, that's huge. You get a point in, in this league. Every point's huge. And I mean, credit to them. They played a hard game uh, tonight. And uh, you know, in overtime, you know. It's, 50-50 game, anyone you know can get that extra point, and uh, we were just on the wrong side of the time. What did you see as the difference? Why did they come out on top? You think? Um, I mean, I think, what, we gave up three goals in that uh, quick span there, but, I mean, overall, I, I liked our game. I thought, uh, you know, we were moving around well in the uh, offensive zone, and we get some uh, sustained pressure, and, um, you know, we really didn't give them too, too many um, other than that little span there. So uh, I think, uh, you know, getting a point out of this and coming back late, it's a step in the right direction for our group. How did you feel in the first period? It seemed like they had a lot of zone time. There. Uh, it felt good, just you know, doing my thing and uh, preparing the same way I, I've been uh, the entire season. So uh, obviously you look down at the other end, and, uh, you see Swayman, so you know you're gonna have to uh, put together a sharp game. What did you like? I, I know four going, but like, what did you like about your game tonight? Because it felt like you really battled in there. I thought I saw the puck really well again. I mean, you know, obviously being six six that helps, but um, you know, uh, I'd like to have that third one back. I just took uh, you know half a second glanced to see uh, to see where their guy was and, and he threw it back out front so uh, it's a quick game and, and you have to be ready for anything but um, I mean other than that I thought uh, you know my reads were good my uh, pucks were sticking to me and uh, I thought my puck handling was pretty good as well. What do you the way Austin and Mitch combined there to, to tie it up later? Yeah it's huge I mean you know they're obviously a dynamic duo and uh, they can uh, score it 
any moment. So, uh, you know, especially for me as a goalie, just knowing that uh, if I can keep it to a one goal game, that, you know, we have the firepower on this team to go out there and tie things up. Uh, just battling back, obviously. I mean, getting that point's big for us. And, um, you know, I thought we were going good there. You know, obviously, weathered the storm earlier in that first 10 on the first. And then I thought on the second, we had some really good, uh, really good shifts. Um, you know, created some good shifts back to back. And, um, you know, the momentum obviously went on that side for a little bit. And uh, they put in a couple quick ones and, you know, obviously kind of flips flips the game a bit and then you're kind of chasing it. But um, part of the group fought back and, and got that point. How much of where you guys are at right now is down to learning new systems, learning the way Craig wants you to play? Well, I mean, it's game nine, right? Um, you know, it takes time sometimes. It's not going to click, you know, perfectly right away. I think, um, you know, you just want to take positive steps in, in the right direction um, and you know, I thought tonight was uh, you know, competitively much better game than we, we had the previous two but um, you know, obviously uh, you know, we're playing games you know, every other day now and so you want to just continue to continue to put pieces together and continue to uh, dial in uh, systematic things. What was said in that first intermission there? Seem to get off to a bit of a slow start at the beginning and turn yeah. it around. Yeah, I mean, you know, you come in here, they, I think they lost a couple in a row, so you knew they were going to have a good start and a good response, and this is a great building. So I think just weathering that storm of that first 10 minutes uh, was important. Um, you know, Stilly was huge for us tonight. Um, you know, sometimes that's the way the way the game goes, and um, you know, that, those first 10 minutes, obviously, you'd like to be on the right side of the puck and, and bounces and, and play in their zone. Uh, but they came out really, uh, really strong, really fast, and um, you know, we needed to uh, you know kind of catch up to speed. On the power play, what's been the biggest issue with the entries? Uh, I think just filling spots, um, you know, working into space for each other, and just supporting the puck. I, I think we're just a step behind. On yeah. overtime, are you just kind of waiting for guys to come up? What's your thought process there? I thought somebody was coming back, and then as I went to pass it, I looked up, and uh, it wasn't the case. So uh, I just tried to get back and make a play, and um, yeah, just unfortunate bounce. Um, well, obviously, they scored those two quick. Um, I thought her PK did a pretty good job all night. Just gave them up that one uh, back door, which is unfortunate, but. Um, I thought we were moving our feet better throughout the second and third and um, kept some pressure on, some good looks. How do you explain the slow start? It seems, you know, you came out the second much, much different. Um, yeah. I thought we started well the other night actually at home um, and then kind of got away from it. Um, tonight, um, you know, they came with a lot of pressure. They came with a lot of pace. Um, you know, coming on the four check card, we just weren't able to break out clean lane. That's something we've talked about that we got to be better at and got to do a better job on the walls as wingers. Um, as a five-man unit, just got to be a better job uh, supporting each other, talking to each other, getting out cleanly. But I thought we did that in the second and third and um, you know, started getting a little more results up ice with it. What, uh, on the power play, what's been the biggest issue when it comes to the entries? Um, I don't know, I mean, we're, you know, just off by a hair every once in a while. Um, you know, bouncing pucks. We just got to sometimes maybe be a little smarter and just, you know, chip it down low, get a hard rim or something like that, and you know, just start from there and just try to break pressure off that. It's going to take time to get used to a new system. How close do you feel like you are to playing the way Craig wants you guys to play? Um, well, I think we've shown we have played the, that way. So, um, you know, I thought, like I said, in the second, third, we got back to that way. Um, we're doing a better job of just up ice pressure, um, being as a as a unit on the ice. Um, just gonna make sure we. Uh, you know, take the positives out of this. Make sure we uh, go go to Winnipeg against a really good team, and you know, bring our pressure. How did you see the tying goal play out? Our tying goal? Yeah. Um, well, just a great entry there. Uh, Tone with speed to kick out to John, and an unbelievable pass cross ice from Johnny to me. And um, saw Tone going backside, tried to hit the seam. Lucky enough, worked out, and he doesn't miss those often. Yeah, it was a tight game. You know, um, you know, we battled back and got the tire tying goal so it's a good hard fought point um, you know there's things we can do better and a couple of mistakes in the second period you know we just um, got to clean those up what do you make of how Stoller's performed this oh, he was great yeah he was they came hard in the first and you know I thought though we didn't break we, we hung in there and uh, weathered the storm and he made some good saves too they're obviously learning how to play under you and, and what you want. How close do you think this team is to playing the way that you really They're want? They're close. Um, you know, like, again, we, I thought we got back to checking a lot better tonight and playing. Uh, we're, we're, we're hard around our net and hard in the battles. And, um, you know, offensively, um, you know, we can do more. Like, we have a lot of offensive zone time in these games. And, uh, 
you know, we're gonna we got to get better at creating a little bit more, you, you know, make, with that time. What'd you make of the the new look D pairs that you rolled out? Yeah, they were fine for me tonight. Um, you know, I think you know it's always tough for a um, a left-handed shot to go on the right side, but uh, you know, I didn't think they were bad. I mean, I thought that uh, they were pretty solid. Uh, what can the guys do to create more in the, when they have possession in the zone? Yeah, just we got to get more shots from the top through. That's one thing. And look to shoot a little quicker. And then, you know, I think that there's times where, you know, our, we, you know in the third period, our, all our forwards are jammed at the net and couldn't get it through. And, you know, we need to pop off and create some separation a little bit more in the offensive zone. So why, did you, why did you go back to Riley with the, that power play unit? Just to see if something could happen, you know. Um, you know, we had the five on three. I mean, there was two empty nets, and we just don't put them in. I mean, um, but it'll come. I, I'm confident in this team, and um, you know, they're going to get it going. They'll get it going. The power play. Would you make of Myers' first game tonight? Yeah, he thought he had some big hits. He was pretty physical, you know, killing penalties. Um, simple player. You know, he was fine. How much stock do you put in put into overtime results? Well. I mean, I thought that we controlled it. You know, we had the puck pretty much, and it was a tough play on Austin. Like, we got to support him a little bit better in that play, you know. Like, yeah, we just kind of, we left him alone there, and it just, um, it was a mistake, you know, by everybody out there. And, um, you know, but, you know, we had some good, two two good looks in uh, overtime. So, I mean, it's important. The points are important, right? So, you know, we want to be a good overtime team. We want to be a good three-on-three team because they're crucial points.